Okay, Coach, uh, just uh, reflect on uh, last night's win, um, one of the, the bigger in school history, and now that you've had uh, some time to, uh, to think about that, has it, has it sunk in at all what you guys have, uh, uh, what you guys have accomplished? Still really numb. Um, I keep checking the Internet to make sure we still won the game, and, and, and we have. Um, really neat moment for, for our program and, and for me personally. Um, growing up in Baton Rouge, and uh, growing up on LSU basketball, it was really special to be able to go in there and and uh, and find a way to get a win. And really couldn't be prouder of this group of guys and, and how hard they've worked to put themselves in that position and then uh, to get over that hump. It's just um, a testament to how hard they've worked uh, all the way back to last season in the spring and through the summer and what they've done in the weight room and their commitment to one another. Just really, I couldn't be prouder. Um, you mentioned this is a, a team that's uh, had a lot of close calls uh, over the last few years, you know, at LSU and uh, against some other uh, bigger name schools. Um, what uh, what was the key this time to finally uh, uh, having the guys uh, pull it together and, uh, uh, like you said, get over that hump? It's a good question. I, I think it's uh, it's their belief. Uh, I think there was always some doubt in their mind in the past. They weren't sure. You know, deep down inside, if they could really do it, um, I think they walked in that building last night expecting to win. And as uh, as things started to turn in our favor in the second half, you could really see their body language change, and there was no question they believed they were going to win the game. And it didn't mean we didn't make some mistakes, and, and we didn't give LSU a couple of chances to get themselves back in the game. But you know, we never wavered. We just kept coming and playing hard and playing with toughness and uh, it, it's that belief, that confidence in themselves and um, you know I think they've always understood what they needed to do to win. Um, just that, that, that high, high level of belief and confidence and uh, it goes a long way and it was evident last night and, and hopefully we can keep that front and center for the rest of the season. You guys go into the half down by four I believe and then uh, come out, uh, put together a, a big run. Uh, to go up by by nine in the second half, and you guys uh, uh, stay out in front for I think the final 13 minutes and change of the ball game. Um, what was the the key to making sure that uh, uh, the guys you know stayed motivated and didn't get complacent, giving you know LSU a chance to maybe sneak back in toward the end? You know, we we told them in uh, one of those timeouts, uh, probably midway through the second half, that uh, you know LSU's not going to lay down; they're not going to go away. You're going to have to fight tooth and nail to the final horn. And uh, there'll be some ups and downs, and they, they did make a run. They closed it to, I think, four late. Um, just keep battling and don't waver in, in, in your belief in yourself and and don't waver in how hard you work and fight and compete. And uh, they were able to do that. They took that to heart, and um, they stayed calm and cool and just, just kept doing what we do, um, kept getting stops on the defensive end. and great patience offensively, team basketball, and uh, it's a great effort all the way from uh, the guys that didn't get on the floor all the way up to, you know, our top two and, and Tolly and Fred, just a great team effort. What's the uh, the message going to be this week in practice to make sure that uh, um, the guys don't rest on their laurels uh, for, for this kind of win? You know, um, I, I've thought about that a little bit. It's going to be interesting to see how they show up tomorrow for practice. Uh, I can promise you this. Uh, Oklahoma State's ready to bring us back down to earth. Uh, we need to prepare well. I think, uh, I haven't checked, but I think Oklahoma State's in the top 15, maybe like 12th, 13th, 14th in the country. So uh, we'll, we'll try to get their attention with that. And if, if I don't get their attention with it, Oklahoma State certainly will on Sunday. So um, we have a, a tall task ahead of us. But I think these guys are grounded. I think they understand what it takes to win where our success comes from, and that, that's hard work. And uh, they'll be ready to go to work uh, tomorrow when we get out on the floor. All right, thank you, Coach, and congrats once again. Thanks, appreciate it.